Welcome back to my channel. I am Is316. And today I'm going to be reviewing Godzilla from 1954. This is the one from NECA, so let's get started. This is the front side of the packaging. And this is the back side of the packaging. Look at that Godzilla. Looking very good right there. And this is a close-up of that art right there. Which well, pretty much the figure. That's how he looks. But he looks real good. Look at that. And of course, we have more artwork right here on the front. Look at that Godzilla. Looking pretty good. And of course, down here, I like the way they did those buildings. Like there's super destruction mode right there. And the Godzilla logo looks pretty good right there. So let's take him out of this package. And here we go. And Godzilla does come with that beautiful poster right there. Look at that. Looking very good. It's double-sided, so I'm going to show you the other side. And there goes the other side for the poster. Look at that. Looking very good. And of course, Godzilla comes with his tailpiece right there. That other piece, I don't know what it's for. It looks like smoke. Maybe it's like supposed to be that laser that comes out of his mouth. I don't know what's that for. We'll find out. And this is the way the tail looks. As you guys can see, it has a lot of detail. Look at that, the three stripes right there. Looking very good. The other side, the same thing, so you guys can see it. And it has a peg hole, of course. And this is the smoke effect. It looks pretty darn good. Look at that, it looks very nice. There you go, guys. Moving on to the Godzilla figure. Here we go. And this is the way Godzilla looks outside of this packaging. Look at this guy. He looks really good. I like him a lot. And of course, if you're a Godzilla fan, I suggest you pick this one up. This is very nice. Very old school look. And this is the way the midsection looks. I like this. A lot of details in this figure. Talk about Bigfoot. He don't got nothing on Godzilla. Look at that. Very nice. And that's the way he looks from the back. Look at that. A lot of details in this figure. So now let's check out the articulation. Here we go. Okay, let's take a look, closer look at this bad boy. Look at that face. The eyes look kind of cockeyed. I don't know. They kind of cross. It looks kind of weird right there, but face scope looks pretty good. Look at that. Nice. All those fine details in there. Look at the, the hair right there, the top portion. Looking very good. I like that. The ears, the neck, even the tail effect right there. Look at all that. Looks very nice. All the way to the tail. The hands right there look pretty good. All this detail looks so good to me. Look at that. This guy's just ready for a battle. Look at this big old meaty legs right there. The claws look pretty good. Med section pretty good. Nice. Has peg holes right there. This is a very nice looking figure. Look at this. I love the way they did the tail part right here. Those spikes look very nice. Very cool. Okay, let's check out the articulation. The head does go... Well, the neck, the whole neck does go all the way around. See the head. Oh, it's very stiff. Does go left. Right. And it does go all the way around. Check that out. Pretty good. The mouth all the way down right there all the way up and the neck can also go down and up a little bit just a little bit oh this guy is super tight okay the entire arm goes right there down single bicep swivel right there single hinge nice the handles go all the way around and these claws right here they go down and up they have a little hinge right there as you guys can see 
T the midsection, left, right, and it does go all the way around. I like that a lot. The leg goes up right there, back right there, single jointed knee, as you guys can see right there. And it's like on a ratchet, so that's pretty good. It's very tight. Oh my goodness. The foot does go all the way around. And it goes up right there and down right there. My goodness, this guy is super tight. I like the way his articulation is. For being so detailed, he has a lot of good artic articulation on him. And this right here, for those of you that are wondering, it is made of a soft plastic, so that's pretty good. You don't have to be worried about one of your kids getting injured from this, so that's pretty good. All right, let's try to get him in some cool poses. Here we go. And check him out right here. He is ready. He is ready for battle. Too bad I don't have big enough figures like this, or else he will have a fight on his hands. Look at this bad boy right there. He's about to spit out something from his mouth. I don't know what it is. Oh, watch out. He spits. Look at that. That effect does look very good on him. Look at that. It looks like that thing's hurling towards you. That looks like a thumbnail right there. Pretty good. And here he goes from another angle. Look at this bad boy. This is the way he looks from the other side. Look at that. It looks very nice. Alright guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about this Godzilla? For me, this is a must have if you like the old school Godzilla. My opinion is the best one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. And peace. See you on my next video. What was that fake old poster? You want a piece of me? Let's do it.